Hi, this is an introduction to the Blockly Activity Pack and a video tutorial on how to use the website. In this activity pack, you'll be completing a series of maze challenges, which will teach you all sorts of different things to do with programming. So what is Blockly? Blockly is a visual block-based programming tool. It's written in JavaScript, which is a very popular programming language within the industry. Through the series of challenges, you will start to learn programming fundamentals, such as while loops, conditional statements, and algorithms. So it's a really good way to start getting into programming. So the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser, which could be Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or Google Chrome, or similar. For this, I'll be using Google Chrome. Then in your search bar, you'll be typing in https colon slash slash blockly, which is spelled B-L-O-C-K-L-Y dot games. You can also just type in blockly.games and you should get the same result. So this is the screen that you should see next. You'll see there are lots of different categories in circles, but the one that we want is maze over here. So click on that and then you should see this. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the maze. This is quite a basic one to start off with. The gold person here is you. So that's kind of the starting point of the maze and it's what you want to move to the end. This red thing here is the end of the maze. So that's the goal that you want to reach. So you'll probably get some tutorials come up. So as it says here, you'll be stacking a couple of move forward blocks together to help me reach the goal. You find your blocks over here in this column, kind of in the middle of the screen. It works in the same way as Scratch. So if you've ever used Scratch before, you'll know that you select blocks and then fit them together to form kind of a jigsaw puzzle. And then this kind of works as the programming. So here we know this is quite simple. We do it together. The gold person or you, whichever way you want to do it, just needs to move forward in a straight line to reach the goal. So what happens if we have one move forward block? So we'll click Run Program, which is directly underneath the maze. Here you can see that the little gold man hasn't moved far enough. He's only moved one space. So seeing as we know this is wrong, we're going to click Reset here, and it'll reset the maze. So to make it actually reach the goal, we know that we need to move forward further. For this, we're just going to choose another Move Forward block and attach it to the one already in the working space. So to test it again, we're going to click Run Program. And we've reached our goal. It should come up with a thing here saying, congratulations, you've solved this level with two lines of JavaScript. Move forward and move forward. So this is the JavaScript code here. So that's how easy it is to convert this block programming into actual proper industry programming. You'll be asked, are you ready for level two? And you'll click OK. It will save your progress on the website as well if you're using the same web browser. So if you go off the website and then go back onto it, the progress you've made through the challenges should still be there. So you can exit it and go back to it any time that you want. So I won't walk through this one, I and mean, you can have a go yourself, but it works in the same way. You just pull the blocks from this side, fit them together, run the program. If it's wrong, click reset, try again with different blocks, and then keep running the program until you get the correct thing. The activity sheets will have some hints and tips and they'll have solutions. So give them a go, work through them. Uh, we'll have some more videos later on in the series explaining some of the programming fundamentals that you will come across. So be sure to watch those as well for a full explanation on everything that you're learning. Thank you for watching.